So the bottom of the deck, you've got the High Priestess card over here. And you can see you need to be really, um, you know, you might be dealing a lot with, uh, you might be in a teaching kind of role or mentoring kind of role, dealing with a lot of hidden information, working with information and working really very much by yourself. You might be involved in some kind of research uh, position as well. Whatever you're doing, you're working pretty st strategically. So you've got lots of plans in place and you know, you're very, very organized as well. The high priestess is about knowledge or information. So you are working with a lot of facts and figures and information, and you are having to rely a lot on your own abilities in order to get things done. So working pretty much by yourself. Um, but also, you know, whatever you're doing, maybe people around you are not giving you that much of support or information. So you are having to go and do that research and find out the facts. There are a lot of hidden things you can see with this veil going across here. But, uh, you know, there is a need for st strategy. There's a need to be very, very logical in what you're doing. And like I said, you might be dealing with a lot of information at this particular moment. Um, what's happening with you so there you are in a kind of a uh coming across as that king of uh, cups over here so whatever role you're taking on you're doing a lot of communication maybe you're in that kind of teaching mentoring role maybe giving a lot of seminars putting your message out uh, to people um you know in a um educator kind of form so you've got two cards of you that is talking about education and teaching and dealing with knowledge so you're you're taking on that role of being a teacher or mentor you might be training people for a job as well now you've got the wheel of fortune coming in over here so things are changing for you and uh, it looks like they will be changing in a very positive way um you've got that uh, and it's also you having a hand in that wheel of fortune so you are being very very proactive and making sure that things are going, the luck is going your way, really. So with a few wheel of fortune, there's an end of an old cycle. Maybe you're ending a particular section of or particular part of that job or career that you're doing, and you might be starting something brand new. You might even be moving on from that particular post into something else. But whatever it is, your role in that particular, whatever your career is evolving into something else, and that wheel of fortune is coming in to bring that change for you. So some kind of big change coming in for you. Now you've got the star card over here, and this is about uh, trying to find a direction in your life. You, you were uh, in this past year, you've been trying to find some sort of um, focus, some kind of direction, something new to focus on, and you're trying to get that recognition. You've been putting out a lot of communication. You've been contacting a lot of people, speaking to a lot of people about what you want to do next. You've been asking for guidance, or uh, you know, you could be asking for guidance from the people that you work with, or this could just be that you've been even asking for uh, divine intervention or divine guidance over here with the star card of here. But whatever you've been doing is being very successful, and it's been getting a lot of recognition as well. Uh, so you are moving in a very into a very very positive. Uh, direction and um, you know there's a lot of fame coming in now you have got this um, feeling as though time is passing you by you've got this big hourglass over here which is saying that you it's almost as though you're working to your own deadline um, you know you are a bit anxious that things are not moving fast enough uh, and you know the clock is running out uh, or the time is running out and you have to get things done uh, by a certain time with the Six of Cups also, it's about going back and revisiting the past. So you could be bumping into some, you could have bumped into somebody from the past, or maybe some kind of offer came in from a previous, uh, somebody that you knew from the past. But for some reason or the other, the past has reared its head uh, in your life. So you could have met somebody, or you could have been um, uh, working with some uh, people that you worked with before, or there could have been some kind of job offer that came in from somebody that you knew in the past. And you've got this... Uh, almost as though uh, you know you need to get something done as quickly as possible as well going on so uh, it's almost as though you've got some kind of deadline that you want to get things done maybe you wanted by this particular age to finish this particular project or, or finish this particular section of your career so it seems like you know you you're working to some kind of uh, hidden um, uh, deadline that you've set for yourself now you've got this knight of um, uh, swords over here and this is um, talking about, uh, you know, you're expecting some kind of legal news to come in or, uh, you know, um, something legal. You're waiting for some kind of official news to come in. You're being very focused. It's something that you're going to have to actually, you know, defend yourself. You know, that's how you feel. Uh, it's some kind of news that might cause a lot of disruption or some, somebody, or it, you could even be dealing with somebody around you that, um, 
uh, stirs up a lot of problems and somebody that you have to defend yourself in. So you're in this very defensive position as well uh, in whatever work you're doing. But you might also, like I said, be expecting some kind of uh, news um, uh, that might stir up, uh, you know, that, that you feel that uh, is going to cause a lot of havoc in your life or cause a lot of drama in your life because this is on your mind you're you know you've you're you're getting ready for battle really with this knight of um of swords so going to the future you've got uh, the empress card of here and this is about communication getting your message across and uh, you can see busy studying as well so uh, you know you're working pretty hard pretty much by yourself and uh, maybe involved with a lot of information so whatever you're doing is a very solitary uh, kind of project it seems like you're taking on that kind of teacher role as well and you're working a lot by your own like i said doing a lot of research um, and this is the thing that is generating your finances so that research or that uh, um, work with uh, where you're working with a lot of information uh, that is the thing that is uh, what your job basically revolves around so um, what's going on with you? you've got this knight of cups of here so this is making new contacts new offers meeting new people so this is what's uh, uh, you know the job that you're doing right now involves uh, getting along with a lot of people or meeting with a lot of people um, uh, maybe even um, you know sealing a lot of deals with a lot of people with this knight of cups um, and this is uh, the particular job that you're meeting uh, you're working in so you're dealing with a lot of people uh, making a lot of new contacts meeting a lot of new people doing a lot of teaching and working with a lot of information it looks like it and uh, you've got that knight of um, the king of uh, swords over here so this is also about some kind of legal and official decision that comes in so something's going on around you uh, and there's some kind of legalities that you're working with now you could be even working in a legal um, job a job that involves legalities so, you know, you could be uh, uh, maybe a lawyer or a judge or something that deals with legalities or even working in some kind of institute where you even teach about legal matters as well. Uh, you've got this uh, king of uh, swords around you. So there's something official and illegal uh, that is around you and maybe you're waiting for that to come in or you're dealing with that kind of person, that kind of energy at the moment. So what you want is, maybe you want to do some more traveling. You've got this uh, Queen of Pentacles over here. You want to actually get into some kind of management position as well. Uh, and maybe you're looking for uh, forward to some kind of promotion. Um, and um, this is about sorting out finances and being in charge, being financially independent. It looks like that's what you're vying for. So going into the future, you've got the Eight of uh, uh, Coins over here. You've got the Six of Rods over here and the Two of Rods. So with the six of um, with this eight of coins or eight of pentacles over here, it always talks about you know learning on the job. So whatever job you're doing, you're also doing studying on or you're studying or learning as well. Um, so you are specialising in that kind of post. Now there's some kind of information that you're waiting for, some kind of uh, something that needs to come in, some kind of news that needs to come in uh, that you're not seeing or hasn't come your way right now. Um, and maybe you have, uh, you know, you're not considering all the options available. This person's got their hands crossed. So you are blocking something from coming in. So there's some kind of information. Somebody around you has information that you need in order for you to get forward. Because you see this woman is at a standstill right now. So something that you uh, need, some kind of information that you need that will help you move forward. And somebody around you has that information. It is coming in pretty slowly at this particular moment, but you will get that information. And you need to actually maybe go and do some research and find out about it in order for you to move forward. You've got that six of uh, rods over here. And so this is once you get that information, the harvest comes in. So um, it looks like, you know, you are missing some kind of vital information that will allow you to move forward. And it's just because you're not uh, looking for it or you haven't uh, found the right person. You need to ask the right questions and you have to find, go to the right source to get that particular information. Once you do that, you get that six of rods coming in and there's harvest. So that means that there's victory. Um, so whatever you invest in, whatever... Uh, effort you put in it looks like there's a lot of abundance coming in from them so you might get a promotion some kind of payoff that comes on once you get that information but right now you're, you're a bit stuck right now you are working very independently and you are maybe specializing in it but you are missing some vital piece of information that's going to change and bring in a lot of success 
Now you've got that two of rods over here. It's going to eventually lead to some kind of decision that you need to make. So there will be some options available to you. You need to make some plans as well and go for it. Uh, go after your desires. You're a bit scared about doing it. You're a bit worried uh, about things not working out. You can see there's a shadow of a uh, sort of a devil or a demon over here but you know uh, you may have had some kind of failure in the past and you are worried to move forward so eventually once you get uh, you know the success coming in you will have to make a decision about what to do next and maybe you'll have to tackle things that you didn't complete in the past uh, you know the future seems a bit cloudy right now you know there's a lot of mist over here so you haven't you have been looking at the past a lot and considering changing maybe changing direction um, uh, and it looks like, you know, you're going to have to uh, uh, revisit that decision again. Um, but there is abundance, there's success coming in with that six of rods over here. But like I said, there's some kind of vital information that you're missing. And somebody's got that information and you need to go and ask them for it. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. And this is for the Oracle read. So it looks like there's some kind of legal decision that you're dealing with right now with that King of Swords. And you're waiting for it with that Knight of Swords. And it's put you a little bit of ed on edge because it seems like, you know, you're almost getting ready for battle. So uh, we've got the Ace of Spring over here, which says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams. An amazing career opportunity. So some brand new opportunity is coming in for you over here. Uh, like I said, you might be, uh, you might need to go and do some research, find out what information is missing Put that into play and it looks like uh, this uh, will open the door for this new opportunity to come in. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitation to social events, uh, a friend you can share um, your concerns with. So you've got the Princess of Summer and you've also got this two of uh, this uh, Knight of Cups over here. So the Princess of Summer um, is the Page of Cups and this is the Knight of Cups. So there's some kind of offer that is going to be coming in. Uh, and you're going to be making new uh, friends and maybe you'll be seeing some kind of new deal as well. So it looks like there might be an invitation that comes in over here and you might be meeting, making a lot of new social contacts as well. And the last card is the Nine of Spring, which says, protect the fruits of your labors, prepare for all possible challenges that lie ahead. Um, so you've got that Nine of um, Rods over here, or the Nine of Spring, which says there might be some kind of challenges that you have to deal with, a very challenging situation, and uh, you know you need to prepare yourself. Watch your back. Make sure you know you keep your cards, play your cards very close to your chest, um, and um, uh, it needs you know you need to be prepared for it. So make sure you're doing your research uh, and finding out all the facts and figures before you go in and face any kind of battle. So. Um, so it looks like there is some kind of information that you are missing that you need to find a um, um, uh, go and do some research about. It looks like the Wheel of Fortune is turning for you and it looks like there's some kind of big change coming in. So there's a lot of information that you're dealing with, a lot of research. You might be doing teaching at the moment. And like I said, you will be making a lot of new uh, social contacts as well. And there is a new opportunity coming in for you, uh, which is going to allow you to socialize or it's going to allow you to collaborate rather with a lot of people and whatever challenges you have you will be able to sort it out so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye